good morning students so today we will be discussing uh, digital electronics in digital electronics uh, uh, binary subtraction so when you are performing the subtraction once complement method and twos complement method how we are going to perform the subtraction and uh, followed by some of the questions and uh, discussing how to solve those questions and what will be the solution for those questions so what is the difference between the ones complement subtraction and twos complement subtraction so you should know what is what are the steps you are going to follow to find the subtraction using ones complement method these are the following steps to subtract two binary numbers using ones complement so actually in a digital circuit there is not a separate circuit available for subtraction i will repeat in a digital circuit or uh, a digital kit whatever it might be so when i am implementing the different ics so there is not that we are not having a separate ic for doing a subtraction operation so inside your addition ic itself we can able to perform the subtraction so only thing is you need to complement the b input so after doing the complementing the b input then you can perform the addition so the actual result is equal to the ones complement addition result it will be equal so we will be discussing all those thing with the example also so in the first step find the ones complement of the subtraction so when i am performing a minus b means you have to find the complement of b only you have to find the complement of b only after finding the complement you have to perform the addition with the a value add the complement number with the menu end that is if i am performing a minus b means b should be the complemented data with the complemented data then you have to perform the addition with a after performing the addition if i am getting the carry if c out is generated add the c out that is carry should be added to the lsb in your result you have to add in your result else it is a negative number so you have to take the ones complement if you are not generating the carry you have to take the ones complement of the result and you have to place a negative sign so last step i will repeat once again 
If I am getting a C out, that is carry, then you have to add that value to my result and you can place a positive sign. Else, if I am not getting the carry, then you have to take the once complement of the result and you have to place a negative sign. So, example 1. 10101 minus 00111. So, this is my number I am having. So, as my first step says, I have to take the complement of the B value. Okay, actually, this is up to the end. So, double zero triple one, when I'm going for complement, so actually complement is you have to subtract by the highest binary value number. So, highest binary value number is 1. So, each byte should be subtracted from 1 you will be getting the complemented value. That is one way. That is the actual way. The another way is you can go for inversion. You can go for inverting the data. So, double zero triple one, when I am going for inversion, I will be getting as double one triple zero. Now, you have to perform the sum operation. So when I am performing the sum operation, 10101, that is my actual A value, plus my complemented B value. Complemented B value. So I am performing the addition. So I will be getting as 0, 1, 0, 1. I am getting the addition value as 0, 1, 0, 1. And it generates a carry. It generates a carry. So if the carry is generated, it is a positive number. Then the positive number should be added with the result. So, in the above result, we get the carry bit 1. So, add this to the LSV of a given result. Then, it will be becoming as 0, double one, one zero. This is my answer. Okay. Next. 10101 one, one minus double zero triple one. So here, this is another example. So so the same example I am having, I think so. Sorry. Okay. So, suppose if I'm going for this different number, when I'm going for um, a sample number I'm going, Double zero one zero. I'm having a sample number double zero one zero. And I add another number called
complemented number triple one zero. So when I'm performing the addition, I'll be getting a zero plus zero zero, one plus one zero, one plus one zero, one plus one zero. And then I'll be generating the carry as one. This one will be carried to my result. I'll be getting as one. My answer will be one. So this is actually two minus one. When I'm going for two minus one, I'll repeat this logic ma. So for two, the binary value will be. Zero one zero for two the binary value will be zero one zero and for one the binary value will be zero zero one. So when I'm taking the complement of this and I'm going for the complement of this so zero one zero that is my two value and zero zero one is my b value so a minus b so when i'm going for the complement of b i'll be getting one one zero now, this is my once complement. So, 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 0. I will be getting as 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, 0. Again, 1, 1 plus 1, 0. I will be getting 1 as a carry. This 1 will be added to my result. I will be getting a zero zero one. So and I have to place a positive sign. I have to place a positive sign. So my I am getting the answer as one. So actually two minus one is equal to one. So same example I am going for inverting one minus two. For the negative number, I will give you the example for 1 minus 2. So for 1, I will be representing as 0, 0, 1. And for 2, 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0, when I am going for complement, I will be getting as 1, 0, 1. For 0, 1, 0 complement will be 1, 0, 1. So now I am adding the 1, 0, 1 with my 0, 0, 1. That is my A value. Now 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. 1 I am getting. 1 plus 0 plus 0 I am getting as 1. Again 0 plus 1 I am getting as one. I am not generating any C out here. I am not generating any C out here. Now, what I have to do means I have to place a negative sign and I have to take the ones complement of the given number of the result. So, 110, when I'm taking the complement, I'll be getting a 0, 0, 1 and place the negative sign. So, minus 1. So, 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. So, this is the actual logic. So, whenever you're going for this type of subtraction, your first step is you have to equalize the number of bits. If the A value is 3 bits and the B value is 2 bits, means first you have to equalize the bits. 
then only you should go for the subtraction or addition process. So because if you are going for unequal bits, then in the complement method you will be generating a, the one value or zero value. This will be confusing you and you won't get a proper answer. First equalize the number of bits, then you can go for the performing the subtraction operation. Next one, subtracting using two's complement. So when I'm going for the subtracting using two's complement, subtracting using two's complement, the following steps to be used. So in the first step, find the two's complement of the subtract. In the first step, find the two's complement of the subtract. So what is two's complement? So two's complement means first you have to go for the one's complement, then you are going to add the one. So two's complement means first you have to perform the one's complement, then you have to add one. So this will become as a two's complement. Then this two's complement number should be added with the A value. The two's complement number will be added with the value of A. And then if we get the carry by adding the both the numbers, then we discard the carry and the result is positive. So if I am generating a carry, then you can discard the carry and you can place the positive sign. If I am not generating the carry, then it is a negative number and you have to do the two's complement on the result. So when I'm doing the two's complement on the result means again I have to perform the one's complement on the result, then I have to add one to my result to become to make it as a two's complement. Okay. So this is a sample example for performing a two's complement logic. So one zero one zero one minus double zero triple one. So taking the two's complement on double zero triple one. Taking the two's complement on double zero triple one. So double zero triple one two's complement will be one one triple zero. One's complement will be one one triple zero. Then with that you have to add one to that. You have to add 1 to that. So it will become as double 1, double 0, 1. Now when I am performing the addition, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 plus double 1, double 0, 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, 0 plus 0 plus 1. That is, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. 
the one will be carried on. So zero plus zero is equal to one. Again, one plus one is one plus zero is equal to one. Again, zero plus one is equal to one. And the last bit one plus one is equal to ten. So zero will be mentioned in the result and one will be carried. So actually this is a positive number because I am getting the carry. So you have to discard the carry value and you can place the positive sign. So zero triple one zero that is your final answer. So as a sample we will go for 5 minus 2. We will go for a sample as a decimal number 5 minus 2. When I am going for the 5 minus 2, 5 is my A and 2 is my B value. I have to take the binary equivalent for 5. So I will be getting as 101. That is my binary equivalent. Likewise for 2, I will be getting as 010. That is my 2. Now you have to perform the once complement on B. Once complement on B, I will be getting as 101. Again, I have to add 1 to this to make it as 2's complement. So, I will be getting as 1 plus 1, 0, 1. This 1 will be carried on. So, 1 plus 0, 1 and then 1. So I will be getting as 110. This 110 should be added with the A value 101. So 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1, 0. And 1 you are generating. This one you can discard and the answer you will be getting as 0, double 1. And the answer you will be getting as 0, double 1. So 0, double 1 is equal to 3. So you can convert to the decimal equivalent and you can check it whether you are getting the proper answer or not. So this is for Uh, subtracting the smaller number from the larger number. Likewise, when I'm going for 2 minus 5, when I'm going for 2 minus 5, so for 2 is my A and 5 is my B. Converting to the binary equivalent, I'll be getting as for 2, I'll be getting as 0, 1, 0. For 5, I'll be getting as 1, 0, 1. When I'm converting this 1, 0, 1 to my 1's complement, I'll be getting as 0, 1, 0. Then, when I'm adding 1 to this to make it as a 2's complement, I'll be getting as zero double one. So zero one zero plus zero double one. When I'm adding this number, so zero plus one is equal to one. One plus one is equal to zero. One. One plus zero plus zero is equal to one. Here I am not generating the carry, but I am getting the result as 101. 
I am generating the result as once go one. So if I am not generating the carry, what I have to do means I have to take the two's complement of the result and I have to place the negative sign. So once the one taking the one's complement, I will be getting as zero once go. So that is my one's complement plus one. When I'm adding to that, I'll be getting as zero double one. So zero double one, and you can place the negative sign, and you can check the answer. Zero double one is equal to three. So minus three is my answer. So this is another example which is in this slide. One zero one zero one minus one zero triple one. So when I'm going for the two's complement of the B. So when I'm going for the two's complement of the B, what will be my answer? So one zero triple one. It will be converted as zero one triple zero. So zero one triple zero. That is my one's complement. When I'm adding one to this, zero one double zero one. Now when I'm performing the addition with my a value, one zero one zero one plus. Zero one double zero one, which is equal to double zero sorry double one double one zero. So binary addition is equal to one plus one is equal to ten ma. Ten plus one is equal to eleven. Eleven plus one is equal to hundred. So you should keep this in the mind. So binary addition, you should not mention the any other decimal values, uh, two, three like that. So one plus one is equal to ten. So ten means zero should be given in the result, and one should be carried to my next bit. So likewise, when I'm performing the addition. I am getting this answer. So in the above result, we are not generating any carry bit. So the given number is negative number. So the given answer is negative. So I have to take the two's complement of the result. I have to generate the two's complement of the result. So when I'm going for two's complement, first I have to convert this number to a one's complement. So one, 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 one zero. When I'm going for one's complement, what will be my answer? One, 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 one zero should be converted as Zero 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 one. Then I have to add one to the one's complement number to make it as a two's complement number. So when I'm adding a one to that, I'll be getting as triple zero one zero. Triple zero one zero is my two's complement value, and you can place the negative sign. Okay. And this is sample question. Okay. So on subtracting.
zero one zero one zero to the base value of two. They are given as a binary number. So if they are giving the question as a decimal number, do you have to convert the decimal number to the binary format and then only you have to perform the and then only you have to perform the subtraction. So here they are given the question as 01010 to so the base value of 2 from double one double one zero to the base value of two so the from is my a value and the first value is my b value because they are given the b value first then only they are given the from this number so what i have to do means so, menu end is my double one, double one, zero. That is my menu end. And the subtra end is my zero, one, zero, one, zero. So, when I'm going for using one's complement method, they are given the, in the one's complement method. So what I have to do means I have to take the subtra and ones complement. So when I'm doing the ones complement, so what I will be getting 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 will be converted as 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. You can see in the slide itself. You will be getting the ones complement of the subtra end. So ones complement of the subtra end is zero one zero one zero will be converted as one zero one zero one. Now you have to perform the addition. Now you have to perform the addition. So you can see. The LSB 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Then 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 which will generate just 0. And 1 will be carried to the next bit. Again, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, 1 will be generated to the next bit. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, what is my answer means 11. And it is generating 1 C out 1. So, in my funds complement method, the C out you, you have to add to my result. So this one should be added to my result. So what will be my answer, ma? So one plus one, which is equal to zero. This one will be carried on. Again, one plus one, zero. One will be carried on. One plus zero. 1, then 0 as it is, then 1 as it is. So answer will be 10100. So here the options are the last option is matching to my solution. So the option is D. One more question. On subtracting, this is based on the two complement subtraction. Here they are given the example for the two complement subtraction. So in the two complement subtraction,
on subtracting 010110 to the base value of 2 from 101101. First check for the number of bits whether it is matching. For the first one I am having 3 digit 6 digit number and for the second one I am having approximately 7 digit number. So first you have to match the number of numbers. So if you are going for uneven numbers you won't get a proper answer. First match the number of numbers. So in the ones complement of the subtract end so zero one zero double one zero. So when I'm going for this, you have to add two more bits because it's a six bits number. So you have to add one more bit. So zero should be added to my left hand side. So zero zero one zero double one zero will be converted as one one zero one zero zero one. If if you are missing this matching of equal number of bits, definitely you won't get the proper answer, ma. So first thing you have to check for the equal number of bits are there or not. After checking only, you should go for the next process. So if it is not equal, you have to add zeros in the left hand side of the uh, smaller number, that is sm smaller digits number. Okay. So now my menu end is one zero double one double zero one. And then you are going to add the ones complement number double one zero one zero one 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 zero. So you have to perform the two's complement. That is, I have come um, found out only the ones complement. So after getting the ones complement, I have to add one to my answer. So double one zero one zero zero one. When I'm adding one to this, I'll be getting as double one zero one zero one zero. So that is mentioned as a two complement of the end. That is mentioned as two complement. Subtra end. Okay. Now, when I'm performing the addition, one plus zero. So when I'm performing the addition one plus zero, I'm getting as one. Next, zero plus one. I'll be getting as one. 0 plus 0, I will be getting as 0. Now, next bit, 1 plus 1. So, when I am performing 1 plus 1, I will be getting as 10. And the 1 will be given to my next bit. So, that is my C out. So, 1 plus 1 plus 0. Next one is 1 plus 1 plus 0. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. So 0 will be mentioned here. And 1 will be given to my next uh, MSB. So again, 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 10. 
and again this one will be carried to my next bit. So now 1 plus 1 plus 1. I will be getting a 11. So 1 is my, my answer and 1 should be carried over. Now you have to discard the carry. Because it's a two's complement method, if you are generating the carry, you have to discard the carry. So one will be discarded, and the remaining will be your answer. And you can place the positive sign. So here the number is one triple zero zero double one. So that is in the option D and it is the correct answer. Next one, another question, X is equal to one zero one zero one double zero. 101 zero, 0100 one, and y is equal to 100011 using two's complement method x minus y is using two's complement method x minus y is. Now, first I have to find the complement of y. Complement of y. So when I am finding the complement, what will be my answer? I will be getting as 0, double 1, double 1, double 0. I will be getting as 0, double 1, double 1, double 0. So that is my 1's complement. So when I want my 2's complement, I have to add 1 to the answer. I will be getting as 0, double 1, double one zero one so that will be my answer now i have to perform the addition with my menu end so when i'm adding all those number one zero one zero one double zero plus one's complement, sorry, two's complement of B, zero, double one, double one, zero one. So, from starting from the LSP, so zero plus one is equal to one. So, zero plus zero is equal to zero. One plus one is equal to zero. One will be carried to my next I order bit. So 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is equal to 10. Again 1 will be carried to my I order bit. So 1 plus 1 plus 1. So when I am performing 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 11. Again, this one will be carried to my higher order bit. So, 1 plus 0 plus 1. So, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 10. The 0 will be carried to my... 0 will be mentioned in my answer. And again, 1 will be carried. So, again... 1 plus 1, which is equal to 10. So, 0 will be my answer and 1 will be discarded. So, 1 will be 
it is carded my answer is double zero one double zero zero one so which is equal to the option d so you can discard the last two zeros so here the option is matching to my d option so that will be my answer so this will be a sample uh, circuit where how we are converting the adder circuit to perform the subtraction operation how we are performing the adder circuit to perform the subtraction operation so this is a 4 bit binary adder so inside to my binary adder itself i am doing the addition as well as the subtraction addition as well as the subtraction so when i am going for addition operation the second one directly i have to insert i should not do the not operation i should not do the not operation directly i have to give the b inputs and the a inputs and i can get the sum operation suppose if i need a subtraction the logic i am going to do is i am going to invert my b inputs that is my second binary number I have to in invert my B3, B2, B1, B0 that you can clearly see in the circuit diagram. When I am inverting what will happen, I will be getting the ones complement of that number. I will be getting the ones complement of that number. If I am giving the C in with positive 5 volt, that is, I am giving 1 as my input, that will be 1 2's complement. If I am not giving this plus 5 volt, I will be getting the 1's complement number. If I am adding this C in as 1, this will become as a 2's complement, that is 1's complement plus 1. So what will happen means you will be performing A plus B plus C in is equal to 1. So then you will be getting the answer. So that is the logic in this circuit diagram. And the C out will be called as an carry. Okay. And this is um, the logic where you can perform the um, had a circuit as well as the subtraction addition as well as the subtraction using the XR gates. Here you can use the XR gates. So this XR gates, the one of the input you can see, directly I am giving the A inputs. So A0, A1, A2, A3, directly I am giving the inputs. For the B inputs, based on the mode operation, so this mode operation is line coming here. If I am giving a zero to my XR gate, it will not do anything. We can perform the addition. If I am giving the mode operation as one, if I am giving this mode operation as one, what will happen means 
it will invert my B inputs. It will invert my B inputs. So you can check the XR gate. So when you in the XR gates, if one of the input is zero, then whatever the next that is if a man x y inputs means if x is equal to zero means whatever the value in the y will be by answer if x is equal to one if i'm giving means i'll be getting the opposite value of inverting value of the y inverting value of the y as soon as this mode of question if it is one means the scene is also one you can see the line the scene also one so this is my two complement circuit where based on the mode operation i can perform either addition or subtraction in a single circuit i can perform the addition of operation as well as i can perform the subtraction operation okay This is one of the question which was asked in uh, 1987 question paper for the subtraction concept. The subtraction of a binary number y. The subtraction of a binary number y from another binary number x done by adding the two complement of y to x done by adding the two complement of y to x so resulting in a binary number without overflow resulting in a binary number without overflow this implies that the result is negative and is in normal form, negative and is in second complement form, two complement form, positive and is in normal form, and positive and is in two complement form. I repeat the question. The subtraction of the binary number y from another binary number x done by adding the two complement of y to x resulting in a binary number without overflow. So without overflow means they are not generating the C out. The sum is after addition, I am not generating the C out without overflow. So that is, if it is not the overflow, then what you have to do? You have to place a negative sign and you have to take the two's complement of the result. You have to take the two's complement of the result. So this implies that the result is negative and is in two's complement form. And it is in two's complement form. So in the given one, B is a character option B is the correct option. Okay. So, with this, I will stop ending my session, ma. Thank you.